Hello again, I'm Panos and in this project I am upgrading my smartphone. A little warning before we start, high voltage can be lethal, please know what you're doing. This is actually the third time I tinker with this fan. The speed buttons were added in the second version, but the power button was not a true button, so there was no functionality. Instead of changing only the power button, I decided to change them all. And when I saw these lighted metal buttons in AliExpress, I thought they were perfect. Since the buttons alone use 8 pins, I had to switch to an ESP32. I also decided to put the 5 volt power supply inside the device. After preparing the buttons, I flashed Asmota32 into the board and used the breadboard for testing. Then I started building my prototyping board. I soldered female headers for the board, then the screw terminals and the connections to the pins. Always check documentations and make sure the pin you select is not high or low at boot or is used in another way by the board. When it was finished, I labeled the screw terminals with their pin number and tested the board again. Finally, we were ready to open our device and replace the components. The first thing that was installed was the new buttons. Since there is a lot of space inside the device, to power the board, I used the female AC plug and the 5 volt USB power supply. The output of the first relay is the input for the three others. The output are the cables going from the original buttons to the motor. After we have connected all the power cables, we prepare the logic ones. Finally, we connect the buttons. Every button has four cables, two grounds, one for the light and one for the switch. We used the USB port to power the ESP32 to set it up. In Tasmota configuration, we first define our relays. Then, for each button, even though we have labeled the terminals, we have to see which one is light and which one is switch. So we change the settings for each button and then test it. We have four LEDs and we want them to display the status of the relays. But there is also a status LED on board. Defying LED link even in an unused GPIO changes the behavior of the LEDs. The original buttons mechanically made sure that only one speed could be selected. We must do the same with interlock command in Tasmota. With interlock, you define a group of relays that cannot be turned on at the same time. In our case, we group relay 2, 3 and 4. And then we enable interlock through interlock 1. After interlock, it's time to set up some rules. I want it when the power is off, the lights and the speed relays to be also off. I also created a rule to start the fan in speed 1. That is because I noticed some resets in the board when the fan was starting in a higher speed. If you need an introduction to Tasmota rules, check this video.
with web button command, you can change the names of the buttons in the user interface. The test without AC power did not reveal our relay configuration mistakes. The interlock command and the rules were perfectly working. Relay 1 should not be inverted and the relay order was also wrong. Despite the difficulties, I'm very happy with the final result. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.